AT10 Plus configuration. In this video, we will see how to do the configuration for the AT10 Plus. When the ECG key is pressed, we get the following settings. Under Automatic Format, the printing settings for Format 1 and 2 are adjusted. Under Programmable Lead, the type of patient is selected and the lead order is defined. Under Lead, the lead sequence for manual and auto printouts, as well as on the screen, can be set, as well as the signal, auto centering, auto sensitivity, and rhythm group. When pressing Filter, the frequency for the baseline filter and myogram filter is defined. In the mains filter, Schiller baseline and Schiller smoothing filter can be activated or deactivated. Under General, the QRS beeper can be turned on or off, as well as the display of the results at the end of an auto test. The printout can be set to automatic, as well as the storage and transmission. When lead test is selected, the resistance of all leads is displayed on the screen to ensure good electro contact and the integrity of the cable. The pacemaker option will only be available if you have the option of pacemaker. Under interpretation, the interpretation can be edited or entered. The message unconfirmed report and abnormal ECG can be added to the interpretation statements on the auto ECG printout. The sensitivity can be adjusted to normal or low, and if the thrombolysis option is installed, it can be activated or deactivated from here. In rhythm recording, the duration of the rhythm recording is defined and the option to resend the latest rhythm recording is available. When the exercise key is pressed, the following options are available. When rhythm settings is selected, the lead for rhythm recording, as well as the speed and sensitivity, can be adjusted. Under QRS settings, the default position of the amplitude measurement point can be set, as well as the default lead for the zoom view and the unit of ST measurement. Under interpretation, the exercise interpretation is entered or edited. Under heart rate target, the heart rate target mode is defined. An audible and visual target is initiated if the heart rate is reached, and the target heart rate can be automatically set or manually defined. Under stage report, the option to print the resting ECG is available. During the exercise and recovery phase, periodic printouts can be obtained at present intervals which can be defined, as well as the format in which it will be printed. The recovery print interval can also be defined. In final reports, the data that will be printed out in the end report will be defined. When the protocol key is pressed, we have the following options. Active protocol is where the active ergometer device is selected, as well as the protocols for each ergometer. In bike protocol is where the bike protocol is selected and named. The load and the time of each stage is defined under this tab. Under treadmill protocol, the protocol for the treadmill is selected and named. The speed for the pre-exercise phase is defined, as well as the speed and duration of the exercise phase and the recovery phase. The system settings are accessed by pressing the menu key. A screen with a number of tabs will now be displayed. Under identification is where the unit is registered. The MTA function is to register the name of the medical assistant or doctor carrying out the recording. The user ID function is to register the name and identity of the unit. These are both identified on the automatic printout. The system tab is to set the language, time, date, display color, and volume. Under configuration, an additional data field in the patient data input menu can be inserted. The units for speed, temperature, and pressure can be determined. If you wish to connect an external display screen, then under External Display, select Yes. Under Patient Query, select between Patient ID or Reference Number. This will determine the patient field that must be entered to enable PDQ. Database access can be set to Off, Automatic, or Manual. Off means that PDQ is disabled. Manual means that the patient data is imported when the Get Data key is pressed. And automatic means that the patient data is imported as soon as the patient ID reference number is entered. Under software, the current software version installed for the AT10 Plus is displayed, along with the serial number of the unit and any options that are installed. The factory default, send default, and receive default icons are displayed under the software tab. All changed settings are remembered until the unit is switched off. If you wish to keep the settings as default, the save as default icon must be pressed before the unit is switched off. The Restore default icon is to restore the settings to the defined default, and the Factory default icon is to restore settings to the factory default. Send default will store current default settings to a PC. The unit must be connected to a computer with a Schiller communication tool. When the Receive default icon is clicked, all unit settings in the Schiller communications tool program is transferred to the connected AT10+. Under Communications, the method of data transmission is selected, the peripherals such as blood pressure unit and ergometers. In order to access the spirometry settings, press the spiral key, then press a function key 
hold it down and press the spiral key once again. There you will see two tabs. Under the device tab you will be able to select the norms for the predicted values, to find how the FPC graph is displayed and printed, to find the measurement on which the interpretation is based, select the standards for the results, and to find the parameters for the peak expiratory flow calculation. Under the printout tab you will be enabled under the printout tab, you will be able to define the format and contents of the printout in formats 1 and 2, as well as the graphs, parameters, and information that will be provided on the printout. If you have any questions, please send us an email.